Hey, what's up, Jungle Force Gang? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing 1046 of One Piece. This is my chapter review. And before we get started, go ahead and drop your boy a like. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more One Piece content and other animated related videos. And let's get started. So, um, last week I left off with saying I'm going to give my review, my one out of ten for last week chapter in this in this week um review, right? So I had a lot to think about. Um, I talked to a lot of my friends, and we were just discussing, like, man, the the different the different take of you know Kaido versus Luffy in terms of fighting. You know, we didn't think it was going to take the turn that it, it is it's taking currently with this Looney Tune type, you know, this Looney Tune like vibe, right? Um, and so I didn't really understand or really didn't know how I felt about last week's chapter, but after you know thinking and then reading this chapter. I feel like there's more to come. Obviously, <laughs> I was thinking maybe chat. Um, I said chapter, but I was thinking maybe Kaido and Luffy. This fight was going to wrap up within the next couple of chapters, and that might not actually be the case. So because of that, I'm going to give last week chapter. I'm going to give it a good side of eight. I can't give it a ten mainly because I I don't know exactly how I felt about it, but I won't lie. There was some good. There was some interesting bits. In that chapter and because it took such a wacky turn that it surprised the living hell out of me i can't necessarily say that i hate it as well so i'm gonna give it a solid eight out of ten as for this week chapter i'm going to give it i like i like this chapter man so i'm going to give it a nine um this chapter just give me hope that kaido and luffy is going to ramp up their um fight uh maybe in a two three chapters from now we're going to see the end of this um fight between Kaido and um, Luffy. And I still think there's one more hidden surprise with Zoro and even Sanji, but that's for another time. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this review. So overall, um, like I said, I give it a nine out of a, nine out of a, ah, sorry, words. I give it a nine out of, a, out of 10. <laughs> um, and the chapter essentially starts off with, you know, Kaido and Luffy, right? So Kaido is asking like, yo, Luffy, what, who are you? You know, he and Luffy, you know, he's like, what you mean, bro? Like, I'm, I'm Luffy, the guy that's going to surpass you, the guy that's going to beat your ass, the guy that's going to be the, the new king of the pirates, bro. Stop playing with me. And uh, Kaido's like, yeah, you know, I, I like you still got that, you still got that mouth on you, boy. So, you know, Kaido and Luffy is exchanging blows and things of that nature. They having a little discussion. Kaido is saying like, yo, you know, um, the people below is going to be burnt and some of your men is going to die as well. Luffy like, nah, I got faith in my boys. And Luffy is also saying, he also was telling Kaido like, you know, everything that you took away from, um, I'm going to, I'm going to take that shit back. So, you know, that was pretty interesting dialogue from Kaido and, um, Luffy. Um, you see an elephant just essentially freaking out like, yo, oh my God, Joy Boy is here. Oh, he's back. Yada, yada. Um, and then, um, Afterwards, after the little snippet of Kaido and Luffy, you get to we basically see where everybody is at. We see Nami and Chopper, we see Brooke and Brian, we see Usa, we see Frankie, Carrie, and Zoro. We see pretty much everybody. Um, I don't think we've seen Kid a lot, but we've pretty much seen all of the Straw Hats and where they location where they are essentially positioned and whatnot. And um, they're always talking about, like, what are we going to do? How are we going to escape? How are we going to get out of this blazing fire? People are saying, like, the only way we could probably escape is if this island essentially lands um, on, you know, the ground, you know. So that's something that was interesting. And then my boy Jinbei and um, the the ninja guy, the big face ninja guy who was having a fire duel with the long ear motherfucker, right? They um come into play and they seem like the MVPs of this chapter because he summoned water and Jinbei essentially used that water that um was I think his name is Razor, Razor, whatever his damn name is, used that water to kind of push the water throughout the island to um you know clear out um clear out the fire or whatnot. That was pretty cool. Um and that was like, you know, a significant play for both of them, you know. Um, and then we see Momonosuke and um Yamato, they they chopping it up and you know, Yamato is getting on Momonosuke 
and things of that nature. And they basically is talking about how the island is going to fall. Um, and then we get one final scene from Luffy and Kaido. And essentially, you know, it's um Luffy holding, <laughs> he's holding a lightning bolt. And I was like, what, what, I, I didn't know what to take. Um, I already read and seen a few videos of people was like, yo, can Luffy like grab the elements? Um, I heard a couple of theories that Luffy's fruit may not necessarily be the only God level fruit. It might be, you know, other fruits, you know, Luffy being the sun God, that might be like a earth God, you know, that, that type of jazz or whatnot. So that was, that's pretty cool. Um, I even seen the theory about Luffy father having one of the God fruits. So. I mean, overall, like I said, I really enjoyed the chapter. Um, It wasn't too detailed, you know, it just showed bits and pieces of it. And the reason why I gave it such a high score uh, was mainly because I low-key needed a break. Uh, I, didn't I didn't think I would be saying this, but I low-key, this felt like a break. Like, from all the wackiness, craziness from Kaido and Luffy. Well, Luffy, <laughs> right? So, just seeing this refresher, I didn't, again, I did not think we would need this refresher. Or I didn't think I would need this refresher. But uh, it was just a nice change of pace just to see and check um, up on everybody and then seeing Jinbei, you know, get his shine and seeing the samurai guy or ninja guy get his shine, you know. So, yeah, overall, pretty solid set chapter. Um, and it gives you more to look forward to. You're like, you wondering, like, what's going to happen next with Luffy and Kaido? Is we going to see more wacky stuff? Is we going to see a mixture of wacky and serious stuff? Or are we going to, you know, get down to business? We don't know, but at the end of the day, that panel with Luffy and Kaido and Luffy holding that lightning bolt was pretty cool, was sweet, um, and it, it got me hyped. So with that being said, um, this is a short um, review because, you know, not much really significant happened other than seeing, you know, some major players do major player moves. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and staying tuned. Um, we're uh, finished with Zoom this. I believe that next week is going to be a break, so we'll resume this in like two weeks. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video, and peace.